Hello friends, I am back with another video on mental maths for our young learners. These questions will boost their analytical and logical thinking and help them to understand maths better. If you understand something, you'll love it. Welcome back to Happiness Mintra. Do remember to like this video and share your answers in the comments. I have shared my maths related video playlist at the end of this video. Do check them out. Simon catches 20 fish. Aram catches 18 more fish than Simon. How many fish do they catch all together? Now for this we know that Simon had 20 fish whereas Arun has 20 plus 18 because he has 18 more fish. So 20 plus 18 which gives us 38. So the number of fish that they have all together would be 20 plus 38 which gives us 58. So now in this case, one little thing children have to be careful about is that the second sentence about Arun is saying that he has 18 more fish. So they can't simply add 20 and 18 to get the total number of fish. Now the next question, how many triangles do you see? Very simple, 1, 2, 3, 4 and this whole complete triangle so it's going to be 5 triangles right so the children understand about parts and whole as a concept moving on to the next sheet look at the figure and find the missing number for the number bond based on this figure right so the number bond for 8 we have 5 here and 3 here. So in this case, the answer is very simple. They just need to add the 2 together to give 8. So 5 and 3 gives 8. But I like to extend this problem and I would like the children to form their own combinations of these same numbers. So in that case, for 8, they can have any kind of number combination. So they could write 0 plus 8, they could write 2 plus 6, they could write 1 plus 7, 3 and 5 they have already used. So 4 plus 4 would be another combination that they can use. So lots of combinations which are possible and understanding this particular relationship of how two numbers can get to the same answer is very important in concept of addition for children later down the line. So understanding number bonds becomes very essential. Next question. Chris took three days to finish reading a book of 12 pages. How many pages did he read in one day? Now for such problems, the first thing I want children to understand is whether the answer should be lesser or more, right? So if in three days he reads 12 pages, we need to find out how many he reads in one day. So naturally the answer should be less than 12, right? Now children who know division can simply do it through division. But assuming that they are not very clear with division at this age, since we are targeting the age group of six as well, not just eight year olds, we can also do it pictorically. So there are these three circles which represent the three days and we have 12 pages. Now if we give one page to each day, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So each day has four pages which means that Chris read four pages every day. So that in three days he could do four, four and four adding on to 12 pages in three days. So if they understand the concept pictorically, 
Later, when they are actually doing division, it will be much easier for them. Next question. There are six cans of soft drinks in one pack. How many cans are there in five packs? Now, since we're talking about five packs, I would like to again emphasize here that the children should understand that here the number of cans would be more, right? Because there are six cans in one pack. So when we talk about five packs, the quantity has to increase. So if these are the packs, let's draw five packs. One, two, three, four, and five. Now one pack has six cans. So similarly, there would be six cans in each of them. Basically, that would make it 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 or simply 6 times 5 which is 30. So, if the children know multiplication, easy for them to infer. Otherwise, they can do it pictorically and understand the concept. Like I keep emphasizing, in mental maths, we are not looking at calculations. We are looking at making children understand the language understand what needs to be done to reach a particular answer. Next question. Rima is shorter than Charles but taller than Lee. So let's have Rima here. She is shorter than Charles. So let's make Charles taller and taller to Lee which means Lee is shorter. Okay, so Rima is shorter than Charles shorter than Charles but taller than Lee. So taller than Lee. Lee is taller than Susan. So Susan will come here since Lee is taller. Okay. So who is the tallest? Simple. Charles is the tallest. Now here what happens is that if we just read the question, we might think it's complicated, difficult to understand. But see, once we actually solve it, it's really simple, okay? So it'll help children to analyze, to apply logic, to figure out particular answers. Now what's missing? In such questions, the children have to figure out the pattern which is existing. 25, 23, which means the numbers are reducing and they are reducing by 2. So 25, 24. 23 which is the answer so 23 22 21 should come here and just to recheck 21 20 19 which is the answer 18 17 which is the answer right so here 21 is the correct fit and it is the correct answer now a time-based question I came back from school one hour before the time shown on the clock. What time did I come home? So first let's figure out the time on the clock which is 1.30. Now it says I came back from school one hour before the time shown on the clock. So one hour before 1.30 which means that the small hand would be here and this would make the time 12 30 so our answer is 12 30 now for the next question 12 is dash more than 10 and dash less than 20 so it's basically a two-part question but it has been combined into one just to make it a little more complicated. So if we just look at the first part, 12 is dash more than 10. So 12 is dash more than 10. If we write it like this, children will be able to figure out that the answer here is 2. 12 is 2 plus 10, right? So this part is done. The second part says 12 is 
dash less than 20 okay so now in this case the answer is going to be 20 and either we do it like this or we write it like this presentation either ways is okay the answer would obviously be the same because just the right and left which is different it depends on how easily the children understand and what they are able to figure out so 12 plus dash is 20 so 12 plus 8 is going to be 20 now since we have the word less here we could also do it 20 minus what number gives 12 if children find this easier, they can use this equation as well. It totally depends on how well they understand. If none of this is clear, if they're not able to figure it out as equation, give them real objects and they can understand. For example, you can give them 20 toffees, okay? And then you can ask them, 12 is how much less than 20? So they put aside 12 toffees, whatever is left is eight, and they get the answer. Mrs. Gupta gave three blue pens and four red pens to each of her five students. Now, Mrs. Gupta has five students. So, let's just put five dots, each representing a student. She gave three blue pens and four red pens to each of her students. So, three blue and four red, which means she gave seven pens to each student. How many pens do the students have in all? Again, the number needs to increase. So we can simply add seven, five times for each child, or we could do either ways, the answer is going to be 35, right? So, because we have 3 plus 4, which is 7 pence, she gave 7 pence to each student and she has 5 students. So, we get 35. I hope you enjoyed these questions. Do try them out with your children and wait for more such videos. Like, share and subscribe if you like it. Happy learning, happy teaching.